Hey guys, Mike from Tiny House Chattanooga. Just dropped this off for a customer out in South Carolina. Just want to get you a nice little tour of it. Our lookout model, slightly modified. I tell you, it's going to have a nice view out here. Check that out. Real nice view. Let's go inside here. Of course, you can see I don't have any proper stairs just yet, but everything's not quite hooked up. But um, this is your rear landing area. It is raised because full storage underneath in the back. Drawers and stairs. TV mount on your left side. This is a smooth plywood interior, a little different option. Let's see here. Got your fold up table there. This one even has a retractable screen. We've got it taped right now, but uh, that screen, you just pull it all the way to your left. It's pretty cool, it covers the whole door. There's a handle right there. All right, so kitchen. Now this one's a little different. It has a full stove in it, or not a full, but like a, a full electric stove. So it was set up with a 100 amp service. All right, that is not normal. All right, got your fresh air exchangers. Custom cabinets, of course. Got your fridge there. Got your barn door. Uh, this house has to be leveled still, so there's a little downhill. Um, corner shower there. We actually had that bar made so it could be pretty dang strong. You could actually hang a lot of stuff on there. Uh, this customer went with the sea head toilet. It's pretty neat, a little different. And you come this way. You got your bath panel, of course. You got your lights. All DC LED in this house. And you got your vanity right there. Sometimes that key is a good thing. Right, let's go this way. If you look here, we've got uh, more drawers and the stairs. Those are two feet deep as well. Pretty good storage space. Come up here, you notice uh, it's got a little height here. I'm 6'2", and I believe this is about a little over six foot set on this house out here, so plenty of room to stand. Back up a little bit. This customer with that full hanging bar type arrangement here. She has a plan for this void right here, like a chest of some kind. Uh, typically, we put a full built in across here with a desk. Um, over here as well, they have a pretty good step up here. We would normally build a ladder, but she has a chest of some kind that will go there to help her up there. It holds a queen bed. But this unit is our most popular for sure, the lookout. Uh, very easy to live in. Everything in it is just simple, uh, easy to use, and that was the whole point. Basically, you just you just move in. You got a full living room area, full bedroom area, nice kitchen space, excellent size bathroom. Nothing that you have to go real crazy on when you pare down. You can see there's a little awning here with some rope lighting. We'll go outside. We'll walk around the front here. Which is the gooseneck platform. There's our logo there with our tiny house foundation trailers. You can find those at foundation, uh, tinyhousefoundations.com. Air unit, uh, it's a little bit wider than usual, the rack there, but typically there's propane. Uh, this one doesn't have any. Otherwise, that's where you would see that propane rack. Sorry for the leaves here. Like I said, I am outside here, walking around, all the venting and everything. I don't have the key, otherwise I'd show you in this box. Got your sewer exit, 7,000 pound axles on this unit, 14 flat tires, water inlet, that's a dryer. You come this way, oh, as you can see, this is a little different. Um, it's set up for a 100 amp service, so right now it's just temporary until they come set her pole. Um, you got all your jacks in the back. And this box is quite large, it's over four feet deep in there by the full width. But, um, like I said, a really nice house, beautiful view, of a nice pond here. If you have any questions, of course, you can find us at tinyhousechattanooga.com. Thanks.